Hey friends, how goes it today? I know it's been a while since we've done a video, but I think today is a good day to do one. And today let's have some real talk. And you know when somebody says, let's have some real talk, it's usually a hard talk. It's usually about something nobody wants to talk about, or it's just hard to talk about, whatever the case may be. Today, I want to talk about life. God said back in Numbers, I call heaven and earth as witnesses against you today that I have placed before you life and death, blessing and cursing. So you have the choice. And if you're not sure what to choose, he then says, therefore, choose life. Why? That you and your descendants may live. So he tells us to choose life. How do we do that? It all starts with Jesus, because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, right? Where else do we find life? John 6, 63, we're told the words that I speak to you are spirit and life. The very word of God is life. If we go over and look in Luke, we see the sower sows the word, right? God's word inside of you is a seed that produces fruit. What is the fruit that it produces? Faith. Faith exists by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Well, none of that's really hard to accept or listen to or deal with, is it? Not really. What is? Losing a child. We just found out that some friends of ours uh, miscarried their first child. Yeah, and all at the same time, I'm heartbroken for them. I'm sad. You know, I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed with that. But at the same time, I am exceptionally frustrated and irritated and mad at the devil. Why the devil, you ask? This is the hard part. God's not in the business of killing babies. If you've lost a child, God didn't take them. How do I know? Because Jesus told us that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus came that we might have life. The devil is the one who's out to kill you. And if he can't kill you, he's going to try and kill somebody you know. Now, will God use what the devil does for good, absolutely. Friends, I'm here to tell you, if you are thinking of getting pregnant, if you are pregnant, if you already have a child, whether that child is five days, 15 years, or 50 years old, you need to know what the Word says, what God has said about your child. You need to know what He has promised you regarding your child. Here's a revelation that I got a couple weeks ago, I think it was at this point. Uh, listening to another message, listening to a pastor speak. And he said, what we view as promises of God, he views as prophecies. 
Think about it. God's word will never fail. He who is promised is faithful. And all of his promises are yes and amen through Christ, right? If God has said it, it will come to pass. That's what a prophecy is. It's a word of God that will come to pass. And if God has said it, it will prosper in that which he sent it to do, and it will succeed. We spend, most people, spend four years in college training up, learning how to have or how to perform some sort of career. How much time, effort, and energy do we spend in the Word learning what God says about our children, what His promises are about them, etc., etc., let alone how to raise them? Friends, get in the Word. If not for you, for your friends. If not for you, for your children. If not for you, for your friends' children. Choose life. Study the Word. Believe that He who promised is faithful. If you're not sure where to start, pick up a book. You know, I mean, because the Bible can be complicated. You know, you don't always know where to look to find things. I get it. What book should you pick up? I don't know. Pick up one specific to children. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe one like the one that I wrote a few years back. Think of the children. I started on it because friends of ours had lost a child in miscarriage. Kind of let it slip a little bit. Some more friends of ours lost a child in stillbirth. And that's what drove me to get that book finished. And here we are again talking about it. Friends, such things ought not be so. Get in the Word. Study up for yourself, for your children. Pray for your friends and practice the love of God.